Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. Christ is the chief shepherd, the leader of his flock. Come, let us adore him. Christ is the chief shepherd, the leader of his flock. Come, let us adore him. Come, ring in our joy to the Lord. Hail our God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks with songs that assail the Lord. Christ is the chief shepherd, the leader of his flock. Come, let us adore him. Almighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Christ is the chief shepherd, the leader of his flock. Come, let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Christ is the chief shepherd, the leader of his flock. Come, let us adore him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Hard not your hearts as a mariba. As on that day at mass or in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my word. Christ is the chief shepherd, the leader of his flock. Come, let us adore him. For forty years I was weird of these people, and I said their hearts were astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Christ is the chief shepherd, the leader of his flock, come let us adore him. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Christ is the chief shepherd, the leader of his flock. Come, let us adore him. Who are these like stars appearing, these before God's throne who stand? Each a golden crown is wearing, who are all this glorious man? Alleluia, hark they sing, praising loud their only King. These are they who have contended for their Saviour's honour long, wrestling on till life was ended, following not the sinful throng. These who well the fight sustained, triumph through the Lamb have gained. These your priests have watched and waited, offering up to Christ their will. Soul and body consecrated, day and night to serve him still. Now in God's most holy place, blessed they stand before his face.
Awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. Have mercy, me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions, who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O oh God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and tap. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O oh God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, for ever and ever. Awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. Thus says the Lord, my people shall be filled with my good things. O nations, hear the word of the Lord, proclaim it to the far off coasts. Say, He who scattered Israel will gather him, and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord, to the corn, the new wine, and the oil, to the flocks of sheep and the herds. Their life will be like a watered garden. They will never be weary again. Then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men young and old will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. The priests I will again feed with plenty. And my people shall be filled with my blessings. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thus says the Lord, My people shall be filled with my good things. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king city. God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assemble together, Together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded, Dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, Like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed, 
the ships of Thassus. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With just as your right hand is filled, man's son rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all round it, can the number of its towers review all its ramparts. Examine its castles, that you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is He who leads us. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. Remember your leaders who preach the word of God to you, and as you reflect on the outcome of their lives, imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same today as he was yesterday, and as he will be forever. Do not let yourselves be led astray by all sorts of strange doctrines. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. They will never cease to tell of the name of the Lord by day and by night. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I place watchmen on your towers, Jerusalem. It is not you who speak. The Spirit of your Father speaks in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old. Our Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that free from fear, and say from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who is a task like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, 
those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. It is not you who speak. The Spirit of your, of your Father speaks in you. Christ the Good Shepherd laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise him with grateful hearts as we pray. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Christ our Lord, in the holy pastors, you revealed your love for us. May we never be deprived of the care you show through them. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Through your sacred ministers, you are present in our midst as the shepherd of our souls. Never cease to guide us through their teaching and encouragement. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. In the saints who lead your people, you manifest your power of healing souls and bodies. Remain always with us to renew our lives in holiness. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. By the example of the saints, you instruct your faithful in the ways of wisdom and love. Through our pastors, help us to grow to the full stature of perfection. Lord, nourish the lives of your people. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty and eternal God, who by a singular grace allowed the priest Saint Pio to participate in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, Grant through his intercession that constantly united to the passion of Christ we may happily arrive at the glory of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.